Welcome to this podcast for Brighton School of Business and Management students studying for the BTEC Level 5 courses. For this unit you will need to satisfy the criteria exactly as laid down in the assignment brief and as described here, but you should wherever possible use examples from your own organisation and business sector as well as showing evidence of having studied the unit topics in depth and breadth by referring where appropriate to relevant models, theories and established best practices. To enhance your understanding of these assignment issues, we strongly advise that you also discuss them with supply chain management, purchasing and procurement specialists and with operational and senior managers within your own organisation. Also, be sure to read all of the supplementary articles in your study material. Each section should be approximately 375 words, although this is flexible up to around 450 words, not including graphics or illustrations, so you'll need to keep your responses focused on what is being specifically asked for in each section. Section 1. Just as asked, by concentrating on the period from the 1940s to today, summarise and comment on the significance of each stage in the change from purchasing through to today's supply chain management approach. To answer bullet point 2, you need to select an organisation or a business sector which contains many similar organisations and then, as asked, evaluate the different strategies used by that organisation or sector and give your views as to how effective those strategies are in helping the organisation or organisations achieve their broader business objectives. Section 2 Focusing on technological developments such as the internet, intranets, video conferencing and e-procurement systems, present and describe actual strategies that an organisation should adopt using those technologies to enhance relationships with their suppliers. Following on from the above, you will need to identify and describe an actual strategy being used by a specific organisation and give your view on how effective this is. On bullet point 3, you need to describe the policies, procedures and mechanisms that you feel are needed to support purchaser-supplier relationships. Section 3. Here you need to select and describe different parts or stages of the supply chain and discuss how web-based technologies might assist the integration of those parts or stages. Bullet point 2 requires that you select a specific organisation one you are familiar with or one that you have researched and then describe in detail how web-based technologies have contributed to or enhanced and supported the supply chain giving examples of specific instances of this. Section 4 you need to discuss this in relation to a specific organisation that you are familiar with or one that you have researched and give your view of the effectiveness and appropriateness of, uh, separately, the organisation's policies, strategies and systems. Don't forget that you also need to add a list of sources of information and references showing any books, websites, articles, case studies, reports, internal documents and people interviewed that you drew on in order to complete your assignment. The sources of information and references are not included in your word count. Here is a list of websites you should find useful when completing this assignment. If you need any further help or assistance with this assignment, please contact your tutor.